I literally tweeted yesterday, if Ryan Poles trades Jalen Johnson, his stock with the Chicago Bears nation is going to fall quickly. And last night, Jeremy Fowler dropped the news that Jalen Johnson has requested a trade from the Chicago Bears ahead of the trade deadline later today. Oh boy. This is not ideal, and if you can't tell, I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet this morning. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, thank you for tuning in. The top 10 cornerback who's only 24 years old is not an ideal person to get rid of, and this could hurt a lot and set the rebuild back a lot. Before I jump more into it and all the news, please make sure you like this video as it helps me out tremendously. Put your thoughts in the comment section below if you want Jalen Johnson traded or not. And if you haven't already, please could hit that subscribe button. So let's start with the trade rumors. According to reports, the 49ers, the Cowboys, and the Bills are all very interested in defensive back Jalen Johnson. All these teams are looking to make a deep run at the moment. The Niners also only have so many seasons left of being good after this dominant stretch that they've had, and they need a spark as they're struggling right now, losing a couple of games in the last few weeks. The Bills are the Bills. They're still a talented team, but they need that spark as well to keep going. And the Dallas Cowboys always get eliminated in the first round, but they're having a good regular season as usual so far. I mean, at least they can say that and Bears fans can't, but they still get eliminated in the first round. And Jalen Johnson could just make that defense absolutely insanely elite. So what would Jalen Johnson bring to any of these teams if he is traded? Well, he's only 24 years old and one of the best defensive backs in the NFL at the moment. He was in Ryan Pace's second to last draft as a Chicago Bears general manager. Keep that in mind as a factor. Johnson has only gotten better over the last four seasons. And so far this year, he's dominating. Six games, six starts out of eight potential games. He dealt with a small hamstring injury that kept him out for two games, two interceptions, one being taken to the house, four pass deflections, one forced fumble, 18 tackles, total tackles, 15 being solo, and one tackle for loss. And the QBR rating when he is targeted under 30. Johnson is arguably a top 10 cornerback in the NFL this season and his stock has never been higher. And with a team that's sitting at two and six and likely not going to make a playoff push unless they somehow get some insane trades and bring in guys like Chase Young or they keep Jalen Johnson, this team is going to continue to build through the draft and free agency next year. I don't want to start mock draft season yet. I really don't. Here's what ticks me off about this whole situation. We have the most cap again, a projected cap next year again for the second season in a row. Over a hundred million dollars. You can't guarantee talent like Jalen Johnson coming around next draft or even already being on this roster. There's potential, no doubt, but it's not guaranteed. And he wants to be a Chicago Bear. He wants to be on a team that's only won five games in the last two seasons so far. He wants to be a leader of this defense. That's a big thing. And if you sign him to the money, that's not going to change who he is as a player. Eddie Jackson, on the other hand, was a completely different ball game. And I think that's what Poles might be a little scared of. We'll go with that in a minute. But he's not Eddie Jackson. He is Jalen Johnson. I know Poles well enough that he's looking at this from a durability standpoint. Yes, durability. And I kind of hinted at it earlier with him missing two games this year with a hamstring injury. Johnson has never played a full season since joining the NFL, missing actually on average two games. I mean, he's had more but he's missed at least two games a season so far his career. And that's where Poles is like, mm, can I rely on you all the time? You're only 24 years old. But I like to look at the, uh, the glass half full. He's only 24 years old. Dude heals super fast. He's having an unbelievable season right now. Again, like I said too, he's a true leader in the locker room. And when Eddie Jackson's gone next year because we're not keeping him, I'm just putting that on the table right now. He's going to be a captain of this defense because they respect him. And if you get rid of Jalen Johnson, that mojo in the locker room is going to be messed up. And I kind of hinted at it earlier, but this is where Paul's mind kind of is at at the moment. Ryan Pace drafted Jalen Johnson, not Ryan Poles. And Ryan Poles has brought in guys like Terrell Smith, Tyreek Stevenson, Greg Stroman Jr., which, yes, those guys all have potential to be like Jalen Johnson, but it's not a guaranteed thing. And Paul is also looking at it like, hey, I got these guys all on rookie contracts. They're cheap. I can keep going out and getting better talent. And if I trade Jalen Johnson, I get more draft capital, 
why not? I'm disagreeing with him on this one big time. And if I'm getting a trade for him, I'm getting at least a first and a second if I'm Ryan Poles, but I'm not, and we'll see what he takes. And I hate that I'm doing this, but if I were to trade it to anybody, it would be the San Francisco 49ers. Listen, all those guys that are rumored are all suitors. They're going to do great. Good for Johnson going to a winning team. But San Francisco owns the 23rd overall pick. They're struggling lately. Johnson might be a spark, but it's not going to answer their offensive issues at quarterback like Brock Purdy. So it's just a very ugly situation for the Chicago Bears. I mean, not the Chicago Bears, but for the San Francisco 49ers right now. And the Chicago Bears just arguably, like, they're just not making the playoffs at the moment. I still think they can make a run. I still think they can turn this thing around. But they have to keep Jalen Johnson in order to do that. Put your thoughts in the comment section below about what you would do with the Jalen Johnson situation and who you would accept as a trade offer. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Justin Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, bear down.